All right, so now let's finally get into the fun part of the tutorial, which is trading cryptocurrency on the Binance exchange. So on Binance, there's two different trading interfaces that you can use. And the first one is very simple, but also very limited. And then the second one is a bit more advanced, but after watching this next part, you'll understand how to use both of these interfaces. So let's start with how to use the easy trading interface. So let's come up to trade right here on the top and then click on convert. And that will take us to the easy trading interface, which is just the convert feature of Binance. So here you can see we have two different tabs. We have the market tab and also the limit tab. This refers to placing a market order or a limit order. Now with the market tab, the trade will basically uh, carry out immediately, but the price that you're getting will just be the best price that is currently available at the time of you placing the order. If we go to the limit tab right here, then we can place a limit order, which means that you can set the price that you wanna pay but then you're gonna to have to wait until the price actually reaches the price that you're willing to pay. So the order will probably not carry out immediately, but you can make sure that you will not overpay for whatever you wanna buy. So let's just go ahead and do a market order first. So we're gonna go back here, click on market, and then let's say we have some US dollar Tether, the stablecoin in our Binance account, and you wanna convert that into Bitcoin. So here, as you can see, I have US dollar tether already selected. So I'm gonna type in, let's say 50 US dollar tether that I wanna spend on Bitcoin. So here already Bitcoin is again already selected, so I don't need to change anything here. So then I can just click on preview conversion and then Binance is gonna show me what I will get for 50 US dollar tether. So now I can click on convert right here and then it's gonna convert my US dollar tether into Bitcoin. So now the order is already successfully um, finished and now I have um, Bitcoin in my Binance wallet. So I can also click on view status right here. And then in the history, I can see that I have spent 50 US dollar tether on 0.00128 Bitcoin. So let's go back to the trading interface by clicking on trade and convert. And now as opposed to a market order, let's actually do a limit order. So I'm gonna switch from market to limit right here. And now let's say I wanna sell some Bitcoin and for that Bitcoin, I wanna buy some Ethereum. So here where it says from, I'm just gonna switch it from US dollar tether to Bitcoin right here. And then this is already set to Ethereum, which is great. So now I can say how much Bitcoin do I wanna actually spend? So let's say I wanna spend 0. 001 Bitcoin. And then now the difference between the limit and the market order here, I can actually set the price that I wanna pay. Currently the price for one Ethereum is 0 0.07362 Bitcoin. However, let's say I wanna pay a bit less than that. So what I could do is just say, I only wanna pay 0 0.07 uh, Bitcoin for one Ethereum. Then under expires in, we can just set uh, how long the order has time to be filled. So if I set this to, let's say seven days, then after seven days, if the order is not filled and the, and the trade has not gone through, then the order will actually be canceled. Then here I can see how much Ethereum I will be getting if I will spend 0 0.001 Bitcoin with a price of 0 0.07 Bitcoin per Ethereum. And then I can just click on place order right here. Then again, confirm and now the order has been placed. So what I can do now is just go to orders right here and that will take me to the open orders page where I can see all of my limit orders that haven't been filled yet. If I wanna cancel my order, I can just click on cancel right here and then the order will be canceled and my trade will never go through. If you leave your order in here and the price actually reaches the price that you have set, then the order will fill and you'll see the completed order in the convert history right here. So that was the very easy and simple way on how to trade crypto on Binance. Let's now also look at the more advanced trading interface that all the professional traders here on Binance are using. So let's go to trade again and this time let's click on spot. And this will take us to the more advanced trading interface. Now, if you're seeing this for the first time, then it might look pretty complicated. However, I'm gonna to explain to you what everything means and then you're gonna see that it's actually not that complicated. 
So let's start all the way on the top. So right here you can see that the currency pair that we are trading right now is Bitcoin versus US dollar Tether, which means that if I create a buy order, then I will buy Bitcoin and sell US dollar Tether. If I create a sell order, I will sell Bitcoin and I will get US dollar Tether. Then here you can see the current price of Bitcoin in US dollar Tether. The price changed in the last 24 hours, the highs and lows in the last 24 hours, and then also the volume. So how much has been traded in Bitcoin and US dollar Tether in the last 24 hours. Then we can also change the currency pair that we want to trade. So currently we are at BTC USDT. We can also come over here and type in, for example, ETH. So if you want to trade Ethereum, we can just type in ETH. Then we can see all the currency pairs that we can trade here on Binance. So let's say we want to trade Ethereum versus US dollar Tether. So I would just click here on Ethereum versus US dollar Tether. And then the entire interface changes to this specific currency pair, which is Ethereum versus US dollar Tether. And here in the middle, we can see a price chart for Ethereum. So this is what's called a candlestick chart. And each of these red and green lines are so-called candlesticks, which represent the price movements at a specific time frame. Currently, you can see the time frame is set to one day, which means that each candlestick represents the price movements in that specific day. So here, for example, on the 1st of April 2022, the price has risen from three hundred. Uh, from $3,277 to $3,460. Then on the next day, it's red, so it has fallen a bit and so on. Now we can also change the time frames up here. So when we go to the 15 minute chart, then each candlestick represents 15 minutes. So depending on if you want to trade long term or short term, you want to change the time frame of the candlesticks right here. Now you can also see these thin lines coming out of these candlesticks. These basically represent the entire price movement of um, the prices that have been paid for Ethereum in that specific time frame. So in those 15 minutes, the highest price that has been paid was $2,888 for one Ethereum. Now here on the bottom of the price chart, you can also see the volume. So you can see exactly how much has been traded in that specific time frame. And then here on the left side, we have the so-called order book. So here on the top in red, you can see all the people who are asking for a specific price to sell their Bitcoin for. And then on the bottom, you can see all the people who want to buy Ethereum for a specific price. Now, by definition, the people who want to buy, they, all, they always have a lower bid compared to the people who want to sell. Because if one of these prices match each other, then the order will actually be filled and it will be taken out of the order book. And in the middle of the order book right here, you can always see the last price that Ethereum has been traded at. And you can see the same thing right here under market trades. Here you can just see the most recent trades um, for Ethereum versus US dollar Tether. And then all the way on the bottom, we have our open orders, our order history, our trade history and our funds. And then here is where we're going to place our buy and sell orders for this specific currency pair that we have chosen. Currently, again, we are on the Ethereum versus US dollar Tether pair. So let's again go through creating a limit order and also through creating a market order. Let's start with the limit order first. So make sure you are on limit right here. And then I can set the price that I want to pay for one US dollar Tether. Currently, the price is $2,859. This was the last price that was paid. So let's say I want to undercut that a bit and I want to just pay $2,800 US dollar tether for one Ethereum. Now I can also just type in the amount that I want to uh, buy. So let's say I want to buy 0.01 Ethereum. And then I would just click on buy Ethereum right here. And now the order will be put in the order book right here. So you cannot see it because, because it's all the way on the bottom because these prices are actually higher. But you can also see it here under, under open orders. You can see my open order to buy 0.01 Ethereum for uh, 2,800 per one Ethereum. Now, I would have to wait until the price falls to my price and then the order would be filled. I can also cancel this order by just clicking on the trash icon right here. So now let's also do a market order. So under spot, we just 
switch from limit to market right here. And now with the market order, again, I cannot set my price, the price myself. I would just have to take the best price that is currently available here in the order book. So what I would do is just type in the amount that I wanna spend on Ethereum. So let's say I wanna spend um, $40 on Ethereum. And then I would just have to click on buy Ethereum. And now what it does is just takes the best price that is currently available. It's this one right here and it will fill the order immediately. So to see what we have done just now, we can go down here to order history, and then we can see we have just spent 39.72 US dollar tether on 0.0139 Ethereum. Now it works the same way for selling Ethereum right here. So I would just type in the amount that I wanna sell right here, let's say 0.01. And then again, make sure you are in the limit or market order, whatever you wanna do. I'm just gonna stick with the market order right here. Then I'm gonna click on sell Ethereum. And then because it's a market order, it will just take the best price that is available right here. And as you can see, I've just sold some Ethereum right here at a price of $2,856.03 for one Ethereum. Now again, you can always change the currency pair right here. So let's say we wanna trade some Dogecoin. So I would just type in Doge right here. Then I can see all the currency pairs for Dogecoin. So Dogecoin versus, for example, Bitcoin. And then obviously you would, if you would do a buy order, you would sell Bitcoin for Dogecoin. If you do a sell order, you would sell Dogecoin for Bitcoin.